Keep the kite coming. Keep the kite coming. Okay, pick up the short middle, Danny. Get him to walk around. Get him to walk around. Okay, take the rod out of the holder. Keep whining, don't stop whining. Get a belt for him whenever you can. Keep whining, don't stop. Put the butt in there, Danny, put the butt in. Keep whining, don't stop whining, don't stop. Okay, pop the long. Wind the middle, stop. Stop the kite. Wind the middle. Just keep winding, keep winding. You free spooled it, Danny, free spooled it. Just wind it. Okay, we're good on the middle, we're clear, Danny. If you want to advance it, you can. I'm pretty sure everything's clear, Danny. Wind the right short, Matthew. No, no, I was gonna say, either that or have him, have Bryce walk around it. Okay, bud. So here's what's happening. We're now letting the kite back out and we're gonna jump these baits, throw them over the fish. That's the other cool thing about kite fishing is you can actually maneuver things. That was a little bit overboard. Wind the kite back in. <laughs> he just threw the bait over the, the long and middle. It's no problem, easily fixed. Just hand line it. Stop, stop the kite. Just grab the line on the far side and just reach over. See, he's gonna fix this by just reaching the, the leader back over. Keep winding the short. Keep winding, Bryce, don't stop, buddy. Are your ring right? Okay, so now he's gonna throw the bait just beyond the fish, and we're good to go. Good job. No, that's fine, bud, no problem. Good job. Help him with that belt, Matt. Get his belt a little lower, it's straight. And Bryce, if you can kind of square up to the fish. There you go, bud. So one more little trick. Bryce, you see that flat spot where Danny's thumb is? Let go with your left thumb and wind. Now pinch your left thumb on the way up. The rod's actually designed with a flat spot to give you a little extra drag. When you lift, Bryce, you can pinch that line. Good job, buddy. Lift slow, go down real quick. Just get a couple cranks, Bryce. You don't have to crank as much, just a couple cranks. Go down real quick, get a couple cranks. There you go, perfect. Doing good, buddy. Okay, if he wants to run, Bryce, let him run. Don't stop him. You only pinch it when he's not running. Lift slow and high, go down, get one or two cranks. Tunas typically dig straight down, so it's just a game of inches. Go to the left. Keep winding while you walk. Good job, buddy. Nice. Let him run. Now lift slow, go down, get one or two cranks, bud. You can pinch that line and lift slow. Face your fish, don't fight sideways. There you go. What happens when you turn your body sideways to a fish? The belt slides around your waist. So you always wanna square up to the fish. Whenever we can have this position where the fish is swimming in one direction towards the bow of our boat, it's awesome because we can keep bumping the boat ahead. 
leader comes up, make and grab the leader, have a clean shot at the uh, fish, gaffing behind the leader, not across the leader. See how the fish is going forward? Do you need Matthew on the gaff or are you good? Okay, hold your rod to the left, Bryce. Hold your rod out to the left. Nice, good job, buddy. Nice tuna. Yeah, nice headshot. <laughs> I had to say it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll take in the boat any day, buddy. We always try for the throat or head, but you know what? Another Titan titanium wire. Cool. Yeah, we fish a mixture of both titanium and mono, and it's funny how many times the tunas and the sails will bite the wire. 